everybody. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how you can use in Active Inspire the photo capture and the linking feature that will help you create a very, very effective lesson with your students. The first thing we need to do is have some content to put on our Active Inspire flip chart. So I'm going to go over to the Western Dubuque website and let's take a picture. Now, what I'm going to show you is kind of the universal way in Windows to be able to take a picture of whatever is showing up on your screen. What you'll do is in the lower left hand corner of your keyboard, you will see a key that says CTRL or Control. Hold that down with your left hand and if you with, use your right hand in the upper right hand corner of your keyboard, you will see a key that either says print screen or PRNTSCR for, for print screen, um, something to that effect. And what you'll do is while that control key is held down, you'll also press down on the print screen. Now, it didn't look like anything happened on my screen, um, but it did. And I'll show you. Let's go back to the flip chart again. So I just go down to the bottom tray and click on my flip chart. And I can right now do a control V or I could do edit paste. Could be either one of those. There it is. There's the picture that I happen to take. Now I can grab a hold of that and I can move that picture all over. That, that lets you know that I took a picture. If I click on it you'll see that resizing handles pop up on the screen. Now I don't want this whole thing on my flip chart. I just say want this picture right here. So what I'm going to need to do is to crop that picture. Now your flip chart doesn't allow you to do a direct crop, but there is kind of a cheater's way of being able to do this. That's by going up to Tools, down to Camera, and uh, we'll use for right now Area Snapshot. So I click on that, and if I grab a hold of this window right afterwards, it says Camera Snapshot and slide it over to the side, you'll see I have a box here with resizing handles. Anything inside those resizing handles is what I'm going to take a picture of. So I'm going to go over the top of the photo here and resize by grabbing a hold of my resize handles. There we go. Good. Now I have what I want to capture. I can go over to my capture screenshot or snapshot window, click on current page, there, I just took a picture. Now I can drag that picture around on the screen. I don't need the rest of this, so I can click on it, and on my keyboard hit the delete key, and boom, it's gone. Now I have this really nice picture. So I click on it, use the resizing handles to make it larger, and I have now taken a picture from the internet and put it inside my flip chart and you saw it wasn't even that hard to be able to do. So now I need to do the next step. I want to make this a live picture so I can go over to the internet to whatever site I'd like to go to that would represent this picture. So I'm just going to go back over again to our home page. I'm going to click up on that URL, right click, copy, come back to my flip chart. Now I need to make this an active link. So I'm going to go over to my browsers, click on the one that looks like a top. That's the Action Browser. I click on it and I'll scroll through all of the options I have until I come to Open Website. So I click on Open Website and right down toward the bottom under Action Properties it says URL. I'll click inside that box and I can either can do right click paste or I can do control V. I click apply changes and now when I go over the top of this photo do you notice I now have a round blue circle with a white triangle in. That means something is going to happen when I click on this picture. And here watch what happens. You'll see it took me over to the Western Dubuque School page. That was exactly what I had selected. So, yay, that actually ended up working. And I'll get out of that one too. So now 
I've just created that link. You can do this with a YouTube video or any other internet site that you would like to use. It's fantastic for going around the internet. But that's not all that you can do. Let's say we have a photo and we want to make it have multiple links so we can be going all over the internet from just one picture. Believe me, students would rather look at a picture on the page than a whole bunch of text. That's just the way our bodies are geared to work. So let's make this as interesting as possible. The first thing I need to do is go up on the top up here underneath my design mode and it's blue. I want to turn it red. So I left click once and it is now red. That means nothing is active and I can do a lot of work on the page. So let's let's make parts let's kind of dissect this picture and and let's make it go all over the internet. The first thing I'm going to do is go to insert link website and I need to put a URL in here. So let me go back and I'm going to go to schools and since that was um, Cascade High School's football team I'm going to click visit website copy that URL. Come back to my flip chart. I can right click and paste the URL right up here. Then I want to click on action object so I click action object and OK. Hey, look right there. I have a box that popped up on the page, but I got one problem. It wants to keep going behind the picture. That's easy to take care of. I'm just going to left click on this picture and then right click and go reorder, send to back. Now watch when I click on this box. There we go. Look how I'm dragging it in. So let's say we're going to have this player represent Cascade High School. So I can grab a hold and now anywhere inside this box if I click it will take me to that URL for Cascade High School. Now let's just do some more. Um, maybe we have the coach right here. We can go insert link website. I need a URL. So let's say we come in here and we're going to have the coach be the handbook. So we can come up in inside of here and we could click on anything that we would want to be able to have for it. Uh, let's say registration. Yeah, let's just do that. We'll go registration and schedule procedures. I just copy this URL, copy, I don't need that anymore, go back to my flip chart, paste, action object, I click OK. Now I can grab a hold of this box, drag it over coach down here, and let's put one more in insert link website and let's find one more on here uh, let's go uh, we'll go school publications and maybe we want to do September 2012 and it will bring up this PDF document so I just copy at the top go back to my flip chart paste it action object I click OK. I grab a hold, click and drag, and let's say we'll put it over in this part of our screen. And there we go. Now, I have all of these red boxes on here, but that's only so I can see when I'm in this working mode. So if I go back underneath my design mode up in the top and I click on this red box again, it'll turn it blue. Notice how they disappeared. Now when I click on any of these areas that we just made active, I'll be taken there. Think about the possibilities that you could use this for in your classroom. Let me show you. So I click on number 22, and it will open a window. And there we're taken to the Cascade Junior Senior High School.
fantastic that worked just the way it was supposed to remember what happens when we click over here it took us over to our registration policies that we had just the way we had set that in there to be exit out of there and remember we had one more link here so if I click over there there we go it took us over to the Cougar report that we had put in there as our link use this for any subject area this will definitely keep your students attention and the students would also enjoy being able to come up to the board and being able to click on the objects that you have on the board and you can do this all with one photograph uh, it's a fantastic tool to use use it have fun with it experiment watch your kids be excited thanks for watching now get out there and make a fantastic flip chart